Hi, Stephen Keith from Brownells here, bringing you another gun from the vault. Today we've got a Type 38 Japanese cavalry carbine. Not the most common gun in the world, no. but they sure are cute, especially for an Arasaka type yeah. uh, gun. Yep, these were really handy little rifles. Uh, quite a bit shorter than the type, regular Type 38s and the Type 99. So what we've got here is a battle rifle that is much shorter mm -hmm. and lighter than the full length Type 38 or yes. the Type uh, 99 Correct. Arasaka. These were used by engineers, cavalry, uh, rear echelon troops. Of, I mean, engineers, not frontline folks. I mean, these were mainly just for if the fighting come to them and they needed a rifle, they had it. You know, that's amazing because this size is perfect for an infantry guy that has to walk through a lot of jungle oh, yeah. and stuff in yeah. the Pacific. Yeah, but the trouble was that the Japanese thought that the 6.5 by 50 Arasaka cartridge wasn't up to the knockdown power of the other armies, 30-06, right. 8 millimeter, for which right. this is more along the lines of, uh, say, 30-40 Craig. Or 6.5 Swede, six, five something Swede. like that. Yeah. yeah. Very but, pleasant to shoot, though. Oh, yeah. 6.5 by 50. Yeah. Yeah, these are no recoil hardly on these. They're sweet shooting guns. So these were rearward area type guns mm -hmm. then? Yes, sir. That's amazing. Yep, sure were. Uh, small sights. I mean, they weren't, didn't have the... Well, you've got a shorter radius, so I imagine right. you don't need as much to get the same yep. amount yep. of distance. Right there. Plus a flatter shooting cartridge, mm -hmm. maybe. I never looked at the ballistic table for Me that. Me either. But. I do not know a whole lot about 6.5 Arasaka. Um, 7.7 is what I've dealt with more than right. anything else on the Japanese rifle. Now this has grooves for a dust cover, so I imagine yes. originally it was issued yep. with one? Yep, these would have had a dust cover. Okay. But no uh, anti-aircraft sights, no, no, no monopod, nothing like no, that? No, no. The monopod and the anti-aircraft sights were specific to the Type 99. Right, the big gun. Yep, the big gun that was preceded this right here. Otherwise the action's pretty much the same, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's fairly similar. Uh, oh, check for, make sure it's clear. Uh, cocks on closing, your safety's back here at the back. Yeah, I mean, it's real similar to the Type 99. This uh, this looks like a lot of other guns size-wise as far as like, you know, the Greek uh, Monte Cristo the mm -hmm. 1903 yep. battle rifle. There were some 91 Argentines that were really mm -hmm. short. Yeah, the little engineer's carbines. Yep, and then the 09s, they had an engineer carbine. Mm -hmm. So this is right in that kind of category except it shoots a, a smaller round. Yeah. Yeah, there was, the, I believe, the Model 38, right. uh, 6.5 Swede. Oh, uh, the Model um, 94. Four, yes. That's a cute gun. I've always wanted those. Those are nice yeah. guns, really nice guns. Now, this one right here uh, is a Tokyo Arsenal. Right. And Let's see right here. the bonus is the chrysanthemum is still on the receiver. Yes. Which is rare for an Arasaka. Yep. Uh, normally... Uh, chrys intact chrysanthemums uh, were on captured guns. Yeah. Because at the end of the war, whenever they were turned in and decommissioned, uh, the mum was ground off. Yep. And you but, see mostly ground guns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was for sale. millions of them. Yeah. But the mum adds that much to it. And this is a different type of mum, which is different from the Type 99s. There's mm -hmm. a little different design in here. Uh, this is a little more intricate. And then the 99 became more simplified. But you can see it has a Mauser-type bolt stop. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, a type. lot of influence there. Absolutely. Pull that back. And it was state-of-the-art for its day. That had like a five-round capacity, didn't mm -hmm. it? Sure did. So that was standard. It has strip a clip guide there, yep. so you could load it quickly. There, there the big Mauser-style claw extractor. Right and these uh, tangs here for reinforcing the stock, mm -hmm. that's probably a great idea for a military gun that gets beat up yes. pretty heavily, heavily. Absolutely. And this also had a two-piece stock, which you can just maybe barely see right here. Right. That was a telltale sign of all, most all the Japanese rifles. Right. And, and the Finns used that on their, uh, their Moisins, didn't they? Some of them, yeah. yeah. And this, if there's a weak spot in these rifles, it'd be that right there, because I have seen a bunch of those where that separates over the time. Especially if it gets dropped on the toe. Toe, yep. <laughs> yep, that happens a lot. This one looks to be in super shape. It is. It was, didn't see a whole lot of action. Uh, there's a some kind of property or inventory number right here. Which would have been, yeah. 371. 
Back of the which day. doesn't match the well, probably serum. no records for that. No, no records for that at all. That has slings on the side, mm -hmm. I notice, so it'll carry flat against yes. your back. Yep. With yep. that bolt Slung handle on. as far away from you as it yes, can get. Yes, it won't be digging That's into handy. you. That's handy. I like that. Yeah. Comfort in mind. Yeah, they thought this one out pretty good. And the barrel was 19 and a quarter inches long versus about, uh, I believe, 30 inches on the Type okay. 38. It was yeah. a long rifle. But that uh, that 6.5 cartridge didn't have a whole lot of um, powder anyway. I mean, it wouldn't yeah. be a horrendous flash, I wouldn't mm -hmm. think. But still, though, I mean, handy, sweet shooting little guns. Really nice, really nice. It's uh, it's a nice piece of history in yep. really good shape. Absolutely. If you have any questions about this uh, variation of the Arasaka, or if you have one yourself you can tell us something about, leave us a comment below. We'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with another gun from the vault. vault.